Cheers. Chris Edwards has done it again. A new version of Primiga, Primiga 4. I'm quite light to the game. I haven't tried it yet. But I wanted to try it on this new N100 based computer. Price wise and size wise, they're very close to the Raspberry Pi computers. And if you see this Raspberry Pi case, it's about the same size. And the price of this is very close to the Raspberry Pi 5. So I've prepared. I've imaged Ubuntu to this, so we have something to boot from. And I've copied Pimega 4 onto this. That way, my plan is, is to image this onto the internal drive on the N100 based mini computer. Let's do that and have some fun. So here it is, just plug in the USB stick with Ubuntu on and uh, boot the computer into Ubuntu. Cheers! I quite like the BIOS is named AMI, very fitting. And here is Ubuntu, let's press try Ubuntu and plug in the external drive with the image on. Let's first start Gparted to make sure we don't do anything on the wrong disk. Right now we have three disks. So if we zoom in and we see SDA, that's the internal one, and SDB is the USB flash drive, and SDC is the external drive with the image on. So we need to image the image file onto SDA. And for this, we open the terminal and use DD. First, let's CD into the correct mount point for the external drive. If we write DFH, we see all the mount points and we CD into it. The image is called pymega4.img. So the command on my computer, you need to check yours to know you write to the right disk, of course, will be dd ef and the image file and of to the correct drive, which is sda on my disk. And I used byte size one megabyte. And I forgot sudo, of course. And now this will run for quite a while. While I wait, I will enjoy my beer and pause the recording. That took four minutes and 58 seconds. So let's reboot. The computer should start directly into Pimega. Let's just uh, remove the Ubuntu drive. And it is booting into Pimega 4. As stated in the readme file and in Chris's video, we need to copy the kickstart files into the boot kickstart. So we need to connect the drive where I have my copy of the kickstart file and copy that into boot slash kick. And let's reboot. Now it should boot directly into Amiga OS. So let's see. And there it is. Pimega 4 running on the N100 based computer. Now I want to see how well it works. If it can emulate the Amiga in a good way without bugs. If the sound works, if, it, if there is any stuttering in the sound, if uh, demos works. Um, yes, just just test everything, how well it works on this uh, N100. But so far, very good. And now it's installed on the internal flash drive, so it's very fast. Um, the boot time was uh, 
it was impressive. So let's first start with some uh, demos and then we could try some games and uh, maybe we should try Sysinfo as well. I know people love that. Let's do that. Demo time. Let's first watch one of my favorites, Spaceballs with You Are Lucy. Lucy can't get away from this stranger. He's big, he's frightening, he can be rude and nasty, and perhaps dangerous. Pretend for a moment that he looks like this man. seems to work, okay? Uh, effects looks right. The sound does stutter every now and then. So there is something up with the sound emulation. And a quick reboot. It's always uh, good practice between demos. And uh, I think we need to test uh, a TBL demo. I think it's mandatory. And uh, I think Silcut can be a good uh, candidate to see how well this performs. There is something up with the audio here as well. I need to check by updating Abbey if it's uh, the beta version. Or if it is that I'm running on an N100 that is the problem. And I will test as well if uh, I have the problems through both HDMI audio and through the mini jack on the internal sound card. So it's quite a lot of things that could cause this. But I will write it in the description what uh, I find out. This is where it crashed. I'm not sure what happened, but it just crashed back to the desktop. So something is going on here. I know it's a beta version or pre-release of Amiberry, so that could be the cause. I think it's time for a reboot and a refill of beer, and let's try out a game. Turrican is a good candidate for that. Ha <laughs> ha 
not much of a gamer, but uh, there is not any lag, at least, uh, that I'm able to experience. The things look like uh, I remember them. Sadly, my capture card messed up uh, around here. As you can see, it turned into a compressed mess and uh, it doesn't do it any justice to show you any more of this. But as you can see here on uh, my screen, it looks, looks smooth and nice and uh, like it should be. Everything worked well uh, during the gameplay. Not any sound issues or anything like that. So I'm not sure what happened uh, when I was showcasing demos, but um, during gameplay, no issues at all. Next up, I want to play one of my all-time favorites, Lotus 3. And I always drive the red one. Here as well, everything seems to be okay with th this sound. There was some mindering stuttering at the start of the game. I don't remember that being there on the Omega 500 on the real one. Um, but I haven't compared this to playing in an emulator on other systems, so I'm not sure about this. But uh, this runs smooth and uh, no lag and uh, 50 Hz works perfectly. Pretty amazing work Chris has done here. I Overall, I think this is working very well. I did run into some sound glitches. Um, I will, after I'm finished editing and uploading this uh, video, try to update uh, Amiberry and maybe try to run this in FSUI to see if that improves uh, the sound troubles I run into. It was nothing huge. And those demos I know run perfectly. Except from some minor sound issues. So, a big cheers to Chris Edwards. Thank you. There is one thing I need to say. And that is, if you want to try Ami... Mm, not Amiberry, but uh, Pimega for yourself. Do not buy it from someone on any page or eBay or any, anywhere else. The only source to Pimega should be through Chris Edwards. I will link to him in the description, of course. The reason for this is that people are charging for his work. If you want to support this, I suggest you rather visit his um, lovely YouTube page and uh, donate some money there. Or even better, join his Patreon. Now I will continue playing Lotus 3, my all-time favorite racing game, and enjoy my Friday. And I hope you do the same. Cheers.